Hi, I'm Susie Dingle. This is a view from my front steps looking down to the parking strip and the flower garden there in late June. We'll reserve the entire creation story of this cottage garden flower bed for another time. Today, I hope you enjoy these old fashioned favorites in my 10 year old cottage garden. This bed sits between the street and the city sidewalk, which ends in a gravel path. A ruffle of ladies' mantle softens the edge and drifts of Walker's Low Catmint fill the space, inviting the pollinators. The orange tiger lily, which is a Northwest native, rises above the catmint. A shorter variety of Shasta daisy named Becky stands about two and a half to three feet tall. It doesn't flop, it has very sturdy stems with constant removal of the spent flowers, the blooms keep coming for three to four weeks. Feverfew has seeded itself all around the garden, working its way into every little niche. I like how it's a tiny version of the Shasta Daisy. Yesterday's foxglove gives way to fragrant lilies, crocosmia, and the Hyperion daylily, all of which are still forming their buds. Drumstick alliums are coloring up into shades of maroon, deep pink, and green. This tall burgundy leaf shrub in the background is a nine bark, Physocarpus, the cultivar Diablo, which blooms in the spring, but holds on to these absolutely beautiful seed heads all summer long. This garden is low maintenance and low water. I look forward to caring for it this time of the year because there is very little to do other than pulling out the weeds, taking off the spent blooms, and removing a few of the grasses that still persist from the old strip that was here before. I hope you enjoyed this mini tour of the sunny parking strip cottage core flower garden until next time keep dreaming in the garden